I'm volunteering now, working with Ruth in a program that's tutoring them in, in reading, reading. And I think it's important because I want to make sure kids get off to a good start and are capable of doing good in school. But whatever I can do to motivate them, that's what I would like to do. I have a passion with that. Uh, not only with that, but it's uh, social justice. Like Dr. King uh, had a passion for nonviolence and and so he's equal rights and things like that for all people. And he worked for all people for that, for that good. So that's the way I am. That's what I, what I see the similarities and uh, characteristics that King had that I, I think I have too. Uh, passion to want to help my fellow man, help make things better for people. I started up Buildbo as anti-bullying. And I was being bullied in school a lot, so because um, I tested as gifted and at a higher IQ range than other children in my age group. So they started calling me names like nerd, dork. Now when I thought of nerds, I thought of guys with bow ties and glasses. Oh, I have bow ties and glasses. So I took the negative term, nerd, and I turned it into something positive and fashionable, bow ties. I'm trying to bring awareness to bullying, homelessness, and uh, uncurable diseases all at the same time, so. The King is in me because I feel like that Martin Luther King was, he was a strong speaker, he was compassionate, he was a strong leader, and he was inspirational. And I feel like I carry those traits with me every each day of my life. People can relate to me. I'm not just some fictional character out of a book. I'm just the kid who's been through some tough times with a big heart who has dedicated himself to helping the community and people. What I say is I'm in the trenches with homeless people. I am out in the, in the ghetto. I'm in the alleyways. And people say, well, aren't you afraid? And I know to my husband, they'll say, do you let your wife do this? I said, I beg your pardon. <laughs> He's not going to get his permission to do this. One of them looked at me and said, Joni, why do you care about us? You know, all we are are a bunch of drunken bums. We're just drunks. Why do you care? And I said, well, I care because I, I said, I love you. you. To me, you're precious children of God, and that's how I view it. Well, how I feel that I have the king in me is, is that I, Martin Luther King was a prophet. I believe he was a modern day prophet. I don't know that I'm a prophet, but I think that I speak for those who don't have a voice. And when I'm advocating for somebody else, not for Joni, but for someone else, I'm fearless and I'm very tenacious. Sega Racine is a new homeless shelter in Racine. It is aimed, it is a low barrier shelter. It's aimed at people who don't fit in other shelter programs like HALO and the Women's Resource Center. It's, it's aimed at mostly men, although we have women and children. Um, we're serving in the neighborhood of about 30 people a night right now. I know that Dr. King, towards the end of his life, was moving not, not away from the issue of race, which contributes to this, but adding to that the issue of poverty. And we live in an age where the rich have more and the poor are, getting, are having less. And that concerns me greatly. I think we need to struggle to find ways for all of us to have a share in the blessings of creation, that everyone have enough food to eat, have a, a decent place to, to lay their head at night, um, have a place in the community. Baby Express, we like to say, was born um, in 2010 and how it impacts or helps our community, it helps reduce infant mortality, uh, particularly in the city of Racine, that's why we, where we primarily operate. But what it does in um, that area is to help um, increase healthcare access to pregnant women and to households with young babies. I feel that um, the reason why Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. became active with civil rights, because he saw how his fellow man was treated how that we can live together as a whole, and we're only as strong as our weakest link. 
So as with Baby Express, when we get out every day to help serve others, we're looking out for our fellow man, and we understand we're only as strong as our weakest link. So if we have a family struggling, or if a baby dies, and we're not doing anything to help reduce that rate, to help families grow and thrive, we're not growing, we're not getting stronger. One of my jobs in the military was um, honor guard. I do see the connection between um, serving our service members, uh, military servicemen and women, as well as um, what Dr. King has done for our country. Um, now that we can look back, we, Dr. King served everyone. And it was a commitment to make our country stronger and to show what we can do as individuals and what we can do as a group when it comes to protecting and serving our country. Our military service men and women do that every day. They symbolize what Dr. King stood for whenever we go beyond our borders and go to other countries and show that we are uh, men and women that stand together as one, respect each other, and it does not matter who we are, where we come from, what we look like, and what our religion might be. We're here all together as one. We're our United States of America. Well, in order to say that you even have the king in you is um, big shoes to fill. Dr. King, as we all know, was not just for a one particular people, but he was for all people. He was a man who considered it for not just for African Americans, but anyone who, who may experience injustice. Um, I feel that in order for us to be able to be anywhat remotely like Dr. King, we always got to take keep God and God's word first. Matter of fact, he was just a Baptist preacher who was from Atlanta, Georgia, but though he was a man who made an impact on the world. So that tells me, regardless if I'm from Racine, was Little Racine, Wisconsin, you can make an impact on the world if you keep nonviolence, if you keep a state of peace about yourself.